want to do it. I really wanted somebody else to do it. I was trying to, trying to get off the hook. Earlier on this week, this couple of three days, I was in a very dark place. I'd been to the, uh, to the doctor when I'd had COVID or I'd come out of COVID and they gave me a, um, they gave me some tests, so I had some ultrasounds and, uh, and different other things. And uh, when I got the results back, I got the call from the doctor that they want to come and see me. You know, always jumped to conclusion, oh boy, something bad. So all weekend I'd been thinking about that. And I was actually, had this very fatalistic thing. And I've got to be honest, this is confession time. I was hoping it was going to be bad news. That's honest. I was saying, God, I don't, I don't want to be here any longer. I really don't. I want you to take me home, Lord, because I'm, I'm not doing anything for you. I feel like I'm in a place where I'm just an old guy who's missed his time. I don't know if anybody ever has felt like that, but that's where, exactly where I was at the first few days of the week. And so I had actually lost vision. It says without vision the people perish. But when I was reading my quiet time this week, as I do every morning, early in the morning, I read Ezekiel 33, which I've read many times over the years, and it talks about the watchman on the hill, and it talks about flying the, the trumpet or the shofar. I used to wonder why I even did it. I blow it at work morning and night. I come in here and I blow it, but actually I left it at work in the car. I've got another car today. And uh, so anyway, I just really felt the Lord impress upon me that I wish to start to step out in the, uh, that, that role that I, I knew the Lord gave me years ago, but I, always, I never wanted it. I was one of these people that doesn't want something like that. I said, no, go to somebody else that's confident, because I don't feel confident to do it. Anyway, that aside, now, a warning that I had, I wish I had my show part today, because this is, this is a warning. The warning is this. Anybody that's involved in martial arts, Tai Chi, yoga, I just want to tell you, from my, I believe this is from the Lord, that is actually foreign gods. It's actually commandment number one. You shall have no other gods before me, or slash beside me. And that's something a lot of people don't realize that when you go into those places you are into the enemy's domain there you're worshiping foreign gods you're bowing down before gods that are not the king of kings and the lord of lords that aside right now i'm just going to read the um, i've just written it down here paraphrased what what the communion is so like if you i guess you've taken the tops off your, your juice and that you're all ready to go but anyway i'll just paraphrase this Jesus took the bread, he gave thanks, and he said, do this in remembrance of me. Okay, so we do this in remembrance of the Lord. And then also taking the cup after supper and announcing the new covenant is in blood and the drinking of it always in remembrance of him. So without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sin. Amen. So that's important. There's got to be the shedding of blood. Jesus shed the blood for us. We don't have to go around killing lambs and things like that. He's the Passover lamb. He's Christ, our Passover. And consequently, I would like to suggest that if we are knowingly committing sin, particularly involving foreign gods, please don't partake of communion until you are ready to repent. That's important because we don't want to eat and drink judgment on ourselves. If you're doing something you know you shouldn't be doing, if you're doing porn, whatever it is, whether you're fornicating, whether you're doing any of these things, consider the Lord before you do this. This is a solemn occasion. This is the occasion when we come into the presence of God. So just take a, take a moment before we eat, before we drink, just spend a moment with the Lord and ask God, is there something in me that needs to be dealt with. So ponder on this for a second. And just like Jesus did, he took the bread, he 
do this in remembrance of me. So we take this and we just, this is the body of Christ. This is, re, this is symbolic. So we're not eating Jesus. This is symbolic. So now for those who, who want to eat the wafer and ponder the Lord Jesus. Now, Lord, I give thanks to you for the shed blood of Christ. We take this, we do this in remembrance of you. But Christ, our Passover, had been sacrificed. We drink this in remembrance of Jesus Christ. 